I got 58 minutes. I can do whatever the hell I want. I'm invincible. Turns out it's not COVID. Is that death is good news? No, oh, it is. Anyways. <laughs> I actually had a realization today that, no, I gotta do this shit as much as I can because that deadline of December 7th is very fast approaching. And I can't just half-ass it like I did with the Big Mouth ones. My head's still pretty scrambled. I was on an alien ship. Somehow I escaped. It's all a blur. How did you remember to come save me when I crashed? You should come see this. What state is this? That's a really odd question to ask. Working on. <coughs> I can't explain it either. After being booted from the garrison, I was kind of lost and found myself drawn out to this place. It's like something, some energy was telling me to search. For what? Well, I didn't... Can we just acknowledge how fucking great Steven Yoon is? Just not in any particular performance. Just in general. Like, the guy's great. I mean, fuck's sake, uh, Walking Dead, uh, Voltron, um, Invincible, uh, Tuca and Birdie, he's also in that, he plays Speckle in that. didn't really know at the time, until I stumbled across this area. It's an outcropping of giant boulders with caves covered in these ancient markings. Each tells a slightly different story about a blue line. But they all share clues leading to some event. Some Okay, so I like this mythology that's being built up here, like... <coughs> although... Some of the backstory... like I feel like there should be... Okay, so I don't know entirely what happened, but between... Like, there's a 10,000 year time span. I kind of want to know what happened during that 10,000 years. It's not like, say, uh, Avatar, where there's a lot of story that could be filled in thousands of years. I suppose this doesn't really need to be told, this time span, but I'm a little curious. Like, did... If ancient people knew about this thing, how do, are we not more aware of it? But that's just me. Oh, I'm gonna have to take another one of these. I feel really sick now. Arrival happening last night. And then you showed up. I should thank you all for getting me out. Lance, right? No. Touch the front back. The nervous guy's honk. I'm Kate. So, did anyone else from your crew make it out? I'm not sure. I remember the mission and being captured. After that, it's just bits and pieces. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, but back to the aliens. Where are they now? Are they coming? Are they coming for all of us? Like, where are they at this very moment? I can't really put it together. I remember the word Voltron. It's some kind of weapon they're looking for, but... Huh? Is there a reason why there's a shared language between all these cultures? Just... Give me a one minute second. Like... Because... Like... It's kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy, where you... After a while, you just kind of start wondering this. I don't know. Maybe it's like Doctor Who rolls where they have a TARDIS nearby. Maybe. Well, why? Whatever it is, I think we need to find it before they do. Well, last night I was rummaging through Pidge's stuff and I found this picture. Look, it's his girlfriend. <laughs> hey, give me that! <laughs> Leave her stuff alone. Just in general. Like, she's the only one here that has like, okay, aside... Of, of the three of them, Lance, Pidge, and Hunk, Pidge is the only one with a genuine stake in this. So, uh, but he didn't know any better, so, uh, whatever. So, I was kind of wondering about this. Actually, I'll, I'll save it for the next part. What were you doing in my stuff? I, well, I was looking for a candy bar, but then... Get it? Because he's fat. I started reading his diary. What? And I noticed that the repeating series of numbers the aliens are searching for looks a lot like a frown hopper line. 
Brown who? It's a number describing the emission spectrum of an element. Only this element doesn't exist. Okay, so he does know some shit. Uh, that that's actually a, a, at least some bit, a little bit more of a detail added about him. That's something. More than Lance ever gets. Fuck that guy. Okay, so I've decided that it can probably more or less be seen. On Earth. I thought it might be this Voltron, and I think I have a little machine to look for it, kind of like a Voltron Geiger counter. Huh, like you big gassy genius? It's pretty fascinating, really. The, the wavelength looks like this. Give me that. And just to keep myself in line here. Actually, no, I think I can go on for another three minutes or so. Just so I can have it at like nice five minute intervals. Oh boy, that would take forever. Okay, I admit it. This is super freaky. I'm getting a reading. I say this though, it doesn't drag. The pacing is very good. It, just, it knows how to keep you invested. You get to know the characters very quickly. Disparity in quality aside. Turns out they entered like the, the ruined subway of New York City. Like, wow, we're in Beneath the Planet of the Apes. What are the odds? I love that movie. Fuck off. What are these? These are the line carvings I was telling you about. They're everywhere around here. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, how does Keith know? Has he ever been in that room? at the force field that's what i would do like that's just uh, oh my god just oh god if i had if there was a force field i would be so irritating with it i would just be like pushing shit against it like just keep poking at it i i, I don't understand me at all sometimes does anyone else get the feeling this is staring at them no bandit yeah the eyes are totally following me Do I make a Transformers joke? Do I make a Power Rangers joke? I don't know. There's so many to choose from. You're ripping off so many different things. Did Power Rangers or Voltron come first? Oh, also, I looked into the Karabos, Cerebos, whatever, the moon of Pluto, and it exists. I don't know why that was a concern of mine, but ain't mystery solved. Uh, did everyone just see that? Voltron's a robot! Voltron is a huge, huge, awesome robot! And this thing is only one part of it. I wonder where the rest of them are. This is what they're looking for. Incredible. I should also point out that if you're trying to, uh... No, no, I don't really... Okay, um... 
No, there's like a, I have like a minute left. I'm just gonna I'm, I'll hold that off till later. <laughs> Just so that we're all, you know, aware. Look, I criticized this character, but with that said, I don't like what he's saying, because it's not his fault, I just don't like his character. But with that said, Jay Rashida is doing a good job. They all are. Like, the voice acting is consistently very good. We are in some kind of futuristic alien cat head right now. Whoa, did you guys just hear that? What? I think it's talking to me. Hmm. Oh. Don't know. Okay, got it. Now let's try this. My dad commented on this. He said, like, it's a little bit of Speed Racer in there, too. I haven't seen that. Or any of the other ones I've, I've brought up. I have never seen the original Voltron, Speed Racer, Power Rangers, or uh, Transformers, to be honest. But I, at, least, at least I kind of know the concept. I didn't grow up with many of those cartoons. I was an Avatar brat, to be honest. I watched that shit inside and out. Avatar and Justice League. That was the shit for me. And Star Wars The Clone Wars. I'm going to see if I can upgrade it to like 10 minutes.